dedicated to image, brand, and business culture. I'm Nida bittman your host. As an image and brand doctor, I listen to my clients and I find out what is ailing or hurting them. And then I analyze and prescribe. And those prescriptions might include marketing and communication strategies. They may include customized training programs for their employees. They may include coaching for their employees, whether that be groups or individuals. And everything that we do enhances the image and brand of our client. So if you or your company has any ailments, please just click on to themagnolia.tv and let me know that you would like to talk uh, with me and we'll be happy to set up a time and a date to do that. So welcome again to the show, The Magnolia. And today we're going to talk about the broken window syndrome. Now, I am sure that, you know, as we drive uh, to and from work, we see buildings, possibly even include the one that we work in, and it is very vibrant. You can almost just see the life of that building. It is well manicured. The hallways are clean and shiny. The elevators are as well. People are, you know, scurrying around doing their, their business and interacting. The outside is, again, well manicured, there's no trash around and so forth, no broken windows. And so we know that that building has a lot of life. Well, time goes by and we pass by a building and we say, boy, that building just doesn't look like it used to. My goodness, look at the trash and look at the sort of the dirt and my goodness, it needs a good new paint job. And, and even the people seem to um, actually either be moving a little bit slower or, you know, you ask them which building. Oh, well, I really hate to say it, but we work in that building. And you can just tell that there's no pride in that building anymore, no life in the building. We come by it a little later on, and what might we see? We may see now it's for rent, for lease, for sale. And it will not take long, will it, before somebody throws a rock through one of those windows and then we have that broken window syndrome. Because just as soon as that happens, what's the next thing? Yes, the thieves get in, they break in, they start to steal, they start to damage. And you can almost look at that building and they're just saying, hmm, you see, nobody really is taking care of me anymore and I don't really care and everybody's gone and so I just sit here and it just continues to deteriorate and deteriorate. What may happen is that somebody comes along and buys the building, leases the building, scrubs it, paints it, tenants, start, tenants rather start coming back in and it becomes alive again and we love to see when that happens. But for other buildings, what happens is that it continues to decline. And then pretty soon the one next to it is declining and the windows are broken. And it just on and on. And we have seen strips of buildings that they look like that. So that can happen to a building. It can happen to the place of business that you work in or own. And it can actually happen to you as an individual. So, are you suffering from the broken window syndrome? Well, you may say, wait a minute, I'm not a building, so what might I suffer from? Phone calls. Let's just say from a work perspective, you're not returning phone calls the way you used to. Oh, I'll get to them tomorrow. Customers, clients are asking you for things and you're not following through as quickly as you used to. Your reports are behind and there are errors in the reports. And what does that do? You know, for every employee that that starts to happen, that broken window syndrome, the whole company starts to suffer, doesn't it? Pretty soon the clients that were your best clients are looking elsewhere. They're not buying quite as much product. Maybe they're not buying the product from you at all anymore. And so that broken window syndrome starts to touch individuals and it starts to touch the product and the service and it starts to touch the clients and then pretty soon the reputation of your company or the company that you work for starts to decline. 
for you as an individual. You know, maybe you too are stopping to pay attention uh, to the detail of your dress. Maybe you think, you know, when was the last time I polished my shoes? Oh my. You know, if you look down and for either men or women, you see a run in your stocking or you see a run in your sock and you say, ah, eh, nobody will see it. Never mind. Do you know how many people will actually see that? Do you know how many people will actually see your shoes that aren't polished, your hair that isn't done, the fact that you're not taking time to pay attention to your outer garments, the way they're dressed, the way they're worn rather, maybe even your posture. You know, you're starting to slump over where you should be putting those shoulders back and standing straight and confident. And maybe you're starting not to feel so confident about yourself. You're in the, well, I don't really care attitude about yourself. Well, what's happening? It's that broken window syndrome, isn't it? So I want you to pause over the weekend, and I want you to ask yourself, am I suffering from the broken window syndrome? I certainly hope not, but I want to make sure that you're not. I want to make sure that you don't even get to the point where the luster is start, starting to decline. I want you to be shiny. I want you to be confident. And I want you to make the best impressions and impacts on others that you possibly can. For your business, think about your business as well. If you're the owner or the CEO of that business, think about are you suffering? Is the company suffering from the broken window syndrome? And what might be some steps that you need to take in order to one, start looking, and two, start fixing. Now, next week, no, I'm sorry, the, we're on the 26th of March now, and so for April, we are going to talk about spring, and uh, I've already debuted your spring uh, color palette for 2010, did that last week, just so you could start to think about it. So the whole month of April is going to be dedicated to spring, to fashion, to business protocol, and to how we can enhance our overall uh, palette, if you will, if we think of ourselves as this palette. And we're going to work as an artist uh, to be able to create this beautiful masterpiece. So I look forward to you joining me for every show each and every Friday at 9 a.m. There'll be a new uh, show airing for the Magnolia, bringing you resources, techniques, and strategies to help you to enhance your image and brand. So you've been listening and watching the Magnolia. I'm Nida Bittman Neville, your host.